All right, we want to turn now to COVID and the unprecedented surge in the Omicron variant. Pediatric hospitalizations are on the rise. The CDC says an average of 830 children a day were admitted to the hospital in the last seven days. And new tonight, both Moderna and Pfizer say they're working on an Omicron-specific vaccine that should be available soon. States, meanwhile, are setting their own records, including Texas. In the Houston area, positivity rates have gone from 4.3% one month ago to 38% today. CBS's Janet Shamlin reports from outside the Texas Children's Hospital in Houston. Tonight, it's a red flag warning in the Houston area. And this time, it truly is a tsunami when it comes to those cases. It's like nothing we've seen before in this pandemic. The elevated threat level comes as the nation's pediatric cases are surging. Data just released by the American Academy of Pediatrics shows COVID cases have nearly tripled since the end of December and are now far exceeding the peak of past waves. There are now 580,000 child cases, a 78% increase. We're used to the unexpected, but the volume is really disappointing. It's, 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 it's exceeded our previous peaks. And it's spiking across the country. Hospitalizations in general are up almost 40% week over week, pushing healthcare to the brink. About a quarter of hospitals reporting a critical staffing shortage. Beyond health care, Omicron is crushing the nation's workforce. One economist says an estimated 5 million may have called out sick last week. What's happening right now with Omicron is so contagious where I don't really even want to be open for the employees because we may make each other sick. And the IRS today warned taxpayers they may have to wait longer for refunds due to pandemic-related delays. The nation's schools are also buckling under the strain. More than 5,000 across the country have gone virtual. Chicago schools canceled classes for a fourth day amid a standoff with the teachers union over COVID protocols. The community calling for a resolution. Let's put our children first and make them a priority. This impasse needs to end immediately. Texas Children's Hospital has a record number of infected kids, more than 75, including two-year-old Jameson Rogers, who also has leukemia. It had to be nerve-wracking for you. Beyond nerve-wracking because he can't tell me what's going on. Dr. Lara Shakademian is the hospital's chief of critical care. Are you good though? She says most of the kids here who are vaccine eligible have not had a shot. I can tell you with certainty that vaccinated children do not get critically ill from COVID and end up in the ICU. In light of the serious Omicron surge, Texas Children's Hospital has just announced that it will require a booster for all employees starting March 1st. And there is an urgent warning tonight from the American Academy of Pediatrics, which says more data is needed to assess just how severe these variant cases are in children. Nora? Janet Chamlin, with all that new information, thank you.